Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, the internet's a pretty wild place. People can just kind of go and post whatever they want, say whatever they feel like. And every now and then, you'll get someone who posts something or says something that society questions, and then usually not too long after that, that person will delete what they said. Maybe they'll issue an apology, whatever. Uh, that's kind of the point of this video is really that process, deleting your social media um, or just deleting a post from your social media. It's kind of an odd thing to really think about. Um, in, you know, yesteryear, the time before social media, you could kind of erase everything start a new life type of deal, you know. There are plenty of stories that you can read about people who, you know, someone's got a whole new family 20 miles away and nobody knows, you know. Whole separate, you know, wife, kids, whatever. And in the modern era, things like that, you know, completely erasing yourself, starting over somewhere, it can be a challenge. Um, for one, archiving. Um, almost any video that gets put online, someone is going to download a copy of it, put it somewhere. I think as far as recently when it comes to deleting videos, uh, something I just read about the other day is um, Filthy Frank's channel. A lot of his stuff is getting taken down due to the new community guidelines on YouTube. And, you know, there's a part of me that I feel kind of strongly about that, because, yeah, they, you can, yeah, his content was pretty crass, sure. Um, but it, it was a part of YouTube, you know? And it, when he uploaded that, and it got all those views, whatever, it, it was fine then. You know, I don't really see an issue with keeping something like that up. But again, it's their site. They do what they feel like. Now, this, with what that is, it's a little different from, say, if he deleted it himself. This is YouTube doing that. Their new community guidelines, again, they're just taking down content. The one side of this that happened this week... Um, you know, prominent political streamer, Destiny, had a bit of a back and forth on Twitter with someone about DIY hormones, um, did a bit of pedo jacketing to that person, he got dragged for it for a little bit, and then deleted every single one of his posts on Twitter. This happened recently. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kind of drawing a blank. It was right around Christmas time. Same thing. Got into an argument with someone. People started to drag him a little bit. You know, the optics were bad, whatever. And deletes everything. People got screenshots, though. You know? And it's kind of hard to run from stuff like that. Now, the reason behind deleting that stuff, that's another thing to consider. You know, if this is, like, with the first sentence, say it's something you said that is getting some backlash, you delete it, you issue an apology, whatever, there's plenty of times where, you know, you'll post something, maybe it just doesn't do what you want. Maybe it didn't go the way you expected. You're not necessarily getting bad feedback, but it's just you're not getting any feedback. Yeah, delete it. You know, try again later or, you know, word it differently see what happens if you just put it out again. That's fine. I don't really see an issue with that. Frankly, I don't really see an issue with deleting any of your content. You know, if you change as a person and what you've done in the past doesn't reflect what you're trying to do now, that might be a good idea to delete some of that or at least move it to a separate place so it's not all connected to what you're doing now. There are some people who refuse to delete their content. 
You know, they want you to know who they were and who they are now. I can respect that. Um, I think one person in particular that I think is a really good example of that, and again, he's another political streamer guy, but uh, Hunter Avalon. He, um, you know, in the last year or so, he's made a big shift with his ideals and his politics. He's moved further left than he was. Um, there are people who would argue that he was, you know, one of the most reactionary people. However you want to look at him in his past, he hasn't deleted any of his old content. I don't really have an issue with that, to be honest with you. I've heard people complain that, oh, well, you're still making money off of that. It's all still monetized. He said he doesn't have it monetized. Frankly, I don't care. Whether he has it monetized or not, he made the content. If he makes money off of it, that's that's his business. But he won't take it down because basically he wants you to know, yes, this is who I used to be. This is who I am now. I respect that, to be honest with you. Now, with him personally, he has taken down some videos when it's just, you know, bad information or a bad take, something like that. Again, I respect that, you know. If you know that you've put out content that doesn't match your beliefs, or if you know that you said something that is wrong, yeah, correct that if you can. You know, sometimes, you know, it's... What's the phrase? Like, you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Once it's some, you know, once stuff is out there, again, it's going to get archived. People can pull it up whenever they feel like it. But you can at least put forward the effort to say, hey, I messed up. This is it. Now, if you delete everything because you're afraid of backlash, like, say, with Destiny. You delete everything because you're afraid of getting your account suspended or banned or something like that. You're pathetic. Own it. Own who you are. Let people know who you are. Because you're selling yourself. That's, that, that's what you do as a political streamer. I mean, even me doing this. I don't try to act more than what I am. You know, this is me. I'm not putting on a show for you, but that's it. I'm. It's what you're coming for. For either you want to know something that I made a video about, maybe you just like listening to me talk. But either way, that's what we're doing. So, be honest about who you are, and about the content you make, and about what you delete. And I don't think you can really have any issues after that. But, I don't know. I'm sure people will be upset with some of this. If you feel strongly, leave me a comment. But, y'all have a good day.